on a high level view, we are moving our energy system from a from an opaque-based system to a cupic-based system. What I'm saying here is the following. You currently you can build a very cheap power plant uh, for gas, for example, but then you have to spend the money for gas over the lifetime. This is what they call opaque-based. When you install renewables, like solar or wind, you spend a lot of money at the beginning, but then service and, and operational costs are basically zero. But that means you have to invest money now um, and enjoy the benefits later once your assets are written off. At the same time, it is obviously, um, we have intermittent energy which is coming in, so therefore you have to talk about uh, a, a market which is more, um, which is more driven by the, by the uh, source rather than by the demand. Uh, you, have, you need storage at the same time, so this is, this is where in the midst of this transformation costs a lot of money, the players have to change. At the same time, we, and, and this was also a message this morning, um, you cannot cut oil and gas from now to then. Um, so it needs a transition, a fair transition, and a timely one. Only problem is we are running out of time. Seven years to go. We have to cut for more than 40% in that time, and this is the big challenge, I would say. Mm. So is it possible? I would say, if you're optimistic, you, yes, it is. However, we have to really take actions now. And actually, coming back to COP28 under the leadership of Dr. Sultan al Chaba, he really wants to make this COP28, it's my reading, as an, an impactful COP, um, really about taking actions. And it's not only about the government and the, and the regulations, but also of the industry. We have to come together, take actions, and take them fast. And this is the point. We still can make it but we really have to get our acts together. Installing renewables as fast as possible, investing in our grids, transmission grids, distribution grids, investing in energy efficiency. Um, um, stop wasting resources and doing things three or four times. There's no silver bullet in order to make this transformation happen. So we have to work on all fronts, but we have to really increase the speed with which we are deploying new technologies. Mm.